Only 45 aggressive expansion. <laughs> Mongolia is back, baby. Mongolia is back. Back again with spreading the beautiful Japan red. Oh, chef's kiss across the land. And we have an excellent episode planned out here. As you see, Ming is exploding, partially by my planning and doing, of course. We have a beautiful Yu, Min, and who's this? Wu. Yu, Min, and Wu. Hoping they explode and I don't even have to like put the effort into restoring them. Probably will, but that's fine. But look at this. Shun is attacking Ming. And I can attack Manchu, Korea, and Shun all at the same time. Before I fire that off, though, what I want to do here is release... Because I have one more Diplo... I could, I could actually put on Strong Duchies and have two more. But um, I have one more Diplo slot here. And I can release Mongolia. Yes, please. Look at all those cores just ready to be returned. I mean, most of them are with Oirat, who is my ally. Yes, given. But... A whole bunch of them are right here in Shun, and Oirat will help me return them to Mongolia. So let's do that. boop -a doo overwhelming numbers. I don't care what the uh, actual war goal is, because I'm going to be firing another war off pretty much right after. Doo -doo -doo -doo. That way, you are locked, because you have no morale. You're very upset. Finally... Shun, do you even have a navy, man? I don't think he does. No, I don't think he does. No, I do want to grab these border provinces. I don't want uh, Oirat to grab them. Because he might want them. He might want to keep them. Might, he might not be uh, too enthused to give them uh, uh, back to Mongolia. Let's say that. Forming up some samurai. I have these boys over in Japan because I know there's going to be some rebels popping. So just so I'm not boating the boys back and forth, they can just chill out there. We have we have the space for an extra general. We'll have the I'll have the samurai training. Let's keep going forward. Let's say to Uriad. How far do these actually go? Oh, they go pretty far. They go pretty far. Yes, he, he had Rebels pop up. That was perfect for me. Perfect. Boom, that's another. And being that he's at war with Ming, he shouldn't have any armies coming north. Let's take a uh, quick peek at our achievements we're going for. Stardust Crusaders, as Japan, have the land of the Christian Sun Reform, a Palestine and Cairo are Christian. Well, there's no Christians in sight. I haven't met the Europeans yet. So I can't even get that decision to pop up to um, auto-reform, but we are well on our way. I, th I believe it happens typically around 1570s, 1580s is, is when it an early or normal po uh, point for that to occur. We'll, we'll see if I'm right on that. This patch could be differently. Who, who knows? Who knows? We will just cross these bridges as we come to them. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got all the way over all those Mongol cores. We did manage to grab. Perfect. Hand them all over. Mongolia rises. Say to Hashio. Come down to Bedain. And then I, I guess down to the fort. It's a desert fort, so it's not too risky grabbing that thing. Or rats taking on my rebels. I love it. You just freaking love to see that. Where uh, you handle those rebels? They are they are clearly a threat to you. Absolutely a threat. Boom. Let's get you moving over. You're coming down. Oh, there's a fort right there. It's also a desert fort. All right, we got two desert forts. So let's forget this one over here. We'll come to the, the closer one first, obviously. Oh, Oirat managed to grab a province. Oh, okay. Okay. So I, I do want to make sure I grab these still. There's there's still one more Mongolian core. Unclaimed. The race is on. Let's go. Let's go. All right. A half cost fort defense guy. Wah, 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 wah. Or Houghton get local defenses. Where is Houghton? Houghton's a grassland, but now it's basically like a, uh, a hills, I guess. 
Do -do. And Oirat got there first. That's a little annoying. Oirat, man, you don't need to grab that territory. What's up with that? Until come this way. You're heading that way. And let's fire our second... Ah, oh, these rebels keep popping. Screw it, I don't care. <laughs> I'm firing my second war, I don't care. Korea, here we go. And Oirat wants to join me on this one, too. Oirat, you're the best, man. You're the best. Though I don't think I need him on this. That way, if I extract wealth from him, he doesn't get any of it. I want it all. He doesn't need Korea's wealth. I need Korea's wealth. Korea does have a navy, but not, not enough to handle my voice. So we get a high... What are my options? Originally serving as female Bushi, the Ona Musha were esteemed warriors in the early days of the Empire. So I can have... Women continue going to commanding posts. I get the sweet general. Or I get prestige. Some legitimacy. My ruler gets diplo points. I mean, do I get ongoing thing having these women in commanding posts? Because I like, I like bonuses and a permanent bonus to my ruler. Is this my ruler or my heir? Aesis. That's my ruler. He's going to live a while. All right, I'm taking it. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. <laughs> All right, you're down onto that fort. Let's get you back over here. Oh, he gave it to me. He gave it to me. Perfect. So he just wanted that one province, and that wasn't a Mongol core anyway. So we're we're actually pretty cool with that. That's not a big deal to us. Come over here. Let's get you up to Asian. How are we doing here? I actually want all of the cannons on this siege. And I don't know. We want to blow a hole in the wall too. No, we want that military tech for sure. Oh, show. And they're, oh, look at that. They're off my coastline. No, sir. Absolutely not. You cannot sit off my coastline. Like that. And again, Oirat's taking out my rebels. Mwah. Chef's kiss, my man. Chef's kiss. All right. I'm going to use you over in Korea. Get the pressure going on that a little bit faster. Okay, I want these. I want this army close enough to support these, these guys. If Shun Fort hordes come out of nowhere, because they're gonna come back from fighting Ming at some point. I gotta be ready. Double up here. So you would be Mongolia. I wouldn't be taking any land over here. It'd all be for Mongolia. All rightful Mongol clay, as far as I'm concerned. All right, let's get you up to that capital. And then a little sieging army back behind. Sieging down the boys. Oh, I see the Korean navies. The, Kore the Korean navy made the mistake of, of leaving the safety of home port. I'm going to come make him pay for this mistake. Punish him for his misdeeds. Okay, so we're already at war with you. Claims on Ming as we go. And we will get... We'll get to war with you soon enough, Manchuria. I just need to uh, get a, get an army available. Every single one's kind of busy at the moment. Well, I got 15,000 here. All right, I'm convinced. I'm convinced. How, how strong is Shun? That's the question. Oh, he's still 24,000? Okay, no, no. I, I do need armies down here still. Until Shun has been handled, I need armies down here. get back with the main group. Do, 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 do. Did he peace out with Ming? Yeah, he did peace out with Ming. Oh, I want to see your cores. Oh, yes, cores everywhere. I see, I see, I see. Shun considers this to be cores? Did, did Shun become emperor? Is that what happened? No. I, I don't know how he got... It seemed like he got auto cores there. So maybe he can get the same mission. Because I know Japan can get a mission like that. Where they can get automatic cores as they conquer... Um, as they conquer the Emperor's lands. 
Yes. <laughs> that was my reaction too. Huh? <laughs> yes. Now we are... I'm going to take the tech first. I mean, we're pretty far ahead of time, but I want to get the innovativeness going if I can. So. So we can't get to either of those places. But else, what else is there to do? But pile up onto the uh, the mountain fort. Or even better, yeah. Let's just go to Manchuria. I can I can spare one army to go north. I see Shun. I see Shun. Okay. We're definitely going to pile that back up. <laughs> that is a complete change of plans. Once I've seen the Shun Hordes finally come back. Shun Hordes. I didn't say that right. Shun Hordes? This will be 30 for Manchuria. I will be able to get an army. Like This fort will fall soon enough. And then that army can go north too. And when any of these three forts fall, I then have a free army to uh, to support down against the Shun. Because I gotta protect the Mongols too. He's only thirteen thousand. Shun can send him packing. Yeah, let's go help out on the farm. Over there. I like the idea. Of that. Doo -doo. Where is our fleet? We'll show our strength. Perfect. 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 So we're going to take this 7,000. We're going to go north here. And then this 17 will join them. That's plenty strength for the north. Do -do, do -do, diplomatic ideas. Diplo advisor cost minus 25%. Yes, please. Do the level 3 for 580. Love it. Absolutely love it. Let's keep going. That's Zian. Oh, there's another fort right below it. No problem, brother. No problem, shoot. You are getting just pwned. He still has 24,000 troops, so what the heck? Guess he's just completely hiding him at this point. He's whatever, man. We don't need to fight. <laughs> totally cool. I don't need to fight you at all. And then before Manchuria can go ahead and like ally Oirat. No, that's not happening. Oirat's going to help me attack him if he wants. Uh, I don't think it's necessary, bud. I don't think it's necessary. Now this 15 can come north as well. And the siege finished just in time. I'm tempted to come, yeah, smack this 2,000 away. And then go north. I'm not even going to siege the province. I just want to smash those boys. Gold will now be produced in Iwadi. Beautiful. It'll be 53 to dev. I can't dev it up. But that's fine. That's fine. It's gold and it's already at 5. We'll, we'll have dipple points in the future. A non-issue for sure. North, we're going to get on to the fort. I'm going to pick some fights. I'll need both those army groups to do so. He's got 20,000 up here. Manchu is no joke. Manchu is absolutely no joke. All right. Fabricate claims. I don't know. Get a claim right there. Even though that was, I think, only a three development. War score versus other religions. Everyone else is a different religion. Literally, everyone is not Shinto, so. That one, please. Let's get you guys repairing. I could also get on building up some heavies. Because I have missions for heavies. And I have heavy uh, ship combat bonuses. So let's let's take advantage of these bonuses, right? Boom, boom, boom. Seems like a good chunk of heavies right there. It's a good start, at least. I gotta make sure the economy can handle it first before I go too far in over my head. Boom. Well, that seems like it's a full siege down on Shun. Oh yeah, we got ninety-nine percent, and we can we can do as we please. So that would be Mongolia. All of the returns for sure, and then we're just gonna keep going with that. Hmm. 
take the coast. I would take that as well. So that would go to Mongolia. And that could come to me. That's like, a, oh, because there's so many core returns. Because there's so, oh, I'm like, that's so little aggressive expansion. That doesn't even almost seem right. But with all the core returns, we're like, yep, totally, totally right. <laughs> that's exactly right. Only 45 aggressive expansion. <laughs> Mongolia is back, baby. Mongolia is back. And uh, very little for us to have to core. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Oh, it ran out onto the island. Okay. That's cool with me. That is actually pretty cool with me, man. I am not effectively sieging that down. That is not cool with me. Let's get you... Hmm. Now, I am curious if I can draw Ming back in, because I forgot all about a little country to myself. Completely forgot. Got so caught up in the Ming Wars and pushing into the mainland that I forgot about. Okinawa! Yeah, or sorry, yeah. Yeah, Okinawa. Ryuku. Ming will not join, but that's fine. We're just going to go take you anyways. Do -do -do. You trying to... Have you realized your mistake? No, he has not realized his mistake. He is going to stay over there. We took his capital. Right, go half over here. You will load up. And prepare for the invasion of Okinawa. Ryuku. Let's go. Let's go. So we recoup the one month and off we go right away. Do -do. Oh, I didn't even see it. <laughs> Was that a wipe? Was that just an insta wipe? I closed it before I even saw the results. Well, okay. Probably an insta wipe. I don't see an army. Let's just check Manchu. They got 2,000, so they're rebuilding their army as we speak. Desperately so. Perfect. That's Korea. Finish off. On to Okinawa. Well, Ming, we have, like, long truce with you. I might just, like, break my alliance with Oirat. And then attack him for those Mongol cores. <laughs> I like the idea, actually. I'll finish my, my war with Manchuria take so he doesn't get all that extra aggressive expansion and then I'll uh, and then I'll and then I'll break my alliance with him. I wonder if he'll get called in. No, he doesn't want to get called into my war at this point. <laughs> He's kind of figuring it out like I'm not on your side, man. I'm on my side. I'm not necessarily against you at the moment. I'm just on my side. That's all. <laughs> take the professionalism. Yes, of course. Korea. We got 99 on you. Can we make you not exist? Probably not. No. This is okay. We'll cut you up. I cut you. I cut you deep, man. I cut you deep. Um, oh, does he still have a fort there? He does. I, I, so I want to make sure I take the fort. That would be silly not to take it. Alright, that's 99. You know, I don't even need to take the 99. Just the, the overextension. Because I have to fight him in another war anyways. Whether I like it or not. Hmm. Alright. We'll go over... We'll go, go over... Overextension, overextension. Whatever. Hopefully with the, uh, the concentrate. Yeah, there you go. We're at 96. So we're, we're good to go. Shift on military affairs, so we get more expensive... Oh, okay, yeah, I'll get more expensive mercenaries, man. Japan gets a claim on a whole area. Yes, do that, please. Do that. Appreciate it. Free claims are always appreciated, man. State firearm regiments. No, thank you. And you might as well train as we uh, slowly core up the our new acquisitions. All right, we're on there, and we're in Manchuria as we speak. And the Mongols are coming. They love it. Doo -doo -doo. North, north. Should I 
probably don't need all of these army groups up here. I can get more in the south training. Start, start trying to recover this manpower because you see it's a big goose egg. Doo -doo -doo. All of my cash or... Yeah, fine. Have my cash. It makes them love me that little bit more. We got a mission done. Edo Jedi. The Edo period happens. Okay. Development cost minus 15%. This is in the whole country? And global prosperity growth. <laughs> yes. Let's do some deving. Our next institution won't be so hard. We got a military tech with six innovativeness. Beautiful. <laughs> and we have some claims to fabricate. This is clearly all of my rightful claim. Whatever I'm making claims on, it is absolutely rightfully mine. And then that we're all not going to fully state at the moment. I don't care about fully stating it. Let's say that. We will get around to it. Oh, you were supposed to be coming south to train. Mistake. Carry on. Carry on your way. Manchu's 99. We'll be able to take as we please. Now, none of this is Mongolia clay. But I could give, like, a Mongoli slice. A nice... Mongoli slice to the north. Just to make sure Oirat can't get his grubby hands on any of this. Boom, 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 boom. And then I don't have to take any for myself. That'll let Mongolia deal with that overextension. We'll, we'll come back for you, Manchuria. It's not an issue. Not an issue. I'm happy to take your cash and send you on your way. That was a great war, Manchuria. I, we salute you. We salute you. Now they're coming south. Do -do -do. And then it's just Okinawa. Oh, I still got 10 minutes in the episode. Those wars just all strung together so well. Um, I never did get claims up in the north. We can start getting claims. I'm not doing colonizing, so I'm like purposely avoiding colonizing. I might get expansion later on. We'll see. But I have a lot of converting to do, so that's where I'll be focusing on. Saving the souls of my empire. Put you down. You as well, friend. Everyone down to the home. Oh, I have rebels. Rebel scum. Ooh, 13 won't be able to handle a 24 stack, I don't think, on its own. But I'll bring some more boys over. We'll get some backup. Let's say this... Uh... Now, I don't want them to be reg forces. I want them to be mercenaries for sure. Where are all my mercenaries? I think I gotta hire more mercenaries, to be honest. But yeah, I got I got space for 11 more. Um, and they're selling 13 stacks, a 10 stack. You have movement speed bonus and a pretty good general. Yeah, I guess the 10 stack is seems exactly right. Alright, so be it. Boom. Try to save some of my manpower. We'll see. See how successful I am at this. Yeah, let's get him out of harm's way. Hopefully he comes onto this mountain fort and that's where we'll have the combat. Yes, I'll happily grant the uh, general. I'm one over, but this is okay. Who is the riffraff? Definitely not that Chad Lord. Man, they're all good. All of these generals are good. I guess this guy with the three siege pips. The, the, the worst of the awesome, you know. The worst of the amazing. And Ryuku. Yeah, I don't need to be at war with you anymore, Ryuku. That's a, that's a good point. Why are we fighting? Back from Manchu. Hey, it's working. It's working. There we go. It's coming to the fort. The Mongols might get wiped. Mongolia, why did you run there? What were you thinking then? What were you thinking? Did you not notice me standing back looking? Like, all right. And that should be a mission too. I feel like I, I just united the home islands or united the whole. Hmm. I feel like I got, that's a mission done. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I might have to core it up still. All right, we have woods and woods. I'll stand in the woods. See if he'll come at me, bro. 
With those numbers, I'll be able to take them. And these guys, let's get over here to uh, Beijing. Or anywhere with a massive, massive force limit. 32? That's massive enough. Boom. Can get over there. And back to training. How'd it go? It, up to, it went up to 101. What, what happened? What happened? No. I don't want the negative bonuses. Please. Pretty please. Okay, you can, we can get fast traveled across. I got a navy that can handle... Hey, they uh, worked. They attacked me. That is perfect. You're training. You're training. These boys getting fast traveled. You can start training. Because my... Mercenaries can train. I, I like this uh, mercenary idea group. It's fun. Cost the trade embargo. What? Even the Ming aren't big enough to be my my rival? Is anyone in the area? No. No possible rivals. When you're the number one. When you're the number one great power of the world. One. No one can be your rival. <laughs> yes. Oda Japan OP. You heard it here first. Completely and utterly broken OP, and we love it. Let's get you across to Korea. Now, I do have claims down here from a mission. Maybe I can just threaten one out and complete the mission. Not quite. Not quite. Ming is bankrupt. I'd have to fight Ayataya. Hmm. That, that would drain my already zero numbers. <laughs> I don't know about that. And for truces, it's um... Oh, did we break our alliance? Oh, Arab broke their alliance with me. That's okay. And because he was my ally as I was taking all that land, the aggressive expansion is only 42. He couldn't even join a coalition against me right now. It's like, you should be a lot more mad at me than you are, Oirat. It's cool. I want Mongolia to know this is all rightful Mongol claim. All of it. You and you and you and you and you and you. <laughs> We're at right now sweating. <laughs> like, um, all, all of all of that's yours, you think? Okay. Like, yep. Every friggin' bit. All of that belongs to Mother Japan or uh, Mongolia. All of that belongs to Mongolia, clearly. Do, 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 do. You are training. Got more rebel scum. We got lots of mercs on the island to handle them. This is a non-issue. And we're still making pretty good bank. Alright, fine. We'll full core that all up. We're not going through... It's a Diplo idea group. Actually, I got everything full cored up. I think what I'm thinking is, do I want to focus Diplo... And fly through this idea group. Just fly through it. Or will my acquisitions... I mean, I keep giving stuff to my vassals and it's it's not an... You know, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm going to fly through that Diplo idea group. Let's get you guys over here. And I know I don't want my reg forces handling these rebels at all. It's all going to be my Merc armies. Let's go a couple more heavies because we love the heavies here. Your reg force is your merc. We can go north. Do -do. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. How long do we gotta wait on you, Ming? 34? It's another six years. Oirat. We'll be able to attack Oirat before Ming. That's kind of silly. No, well, we'll we're going to have to attack in the south. Once we get some manpower, we'll, we'll go south for sure. Just that big goose egg manpower is kind of kind of cock-blocking me here, guys. It's kind of cock-blocking me. You're a drag, man. <laughs> You're a drag, no manpower. How am I supposed to have all this fun conquering the neighborhood with no manpower? Good. 
He's coming back to attack me, so I got a defensive bonus. Easy win. Easy, easy win. And those were mercs, so. <laughs> we're satisfying the requirements. Oh, already those guys popped. I just friggin' conquered you, Ryuku. Those are rebellious people, I tell you. Grab this 15 stack, go say hi to them, tell them what we think about their little rebellion. I think this is a perfect place for a cut, guys. Thank you for making it to the end. Comment, like, all that great stuff. Let's have one last look at it, boys. Number one great power of the world. Goodbye.